everyone. I always wanted to read a book about Albert Einstein. The theory of relativity has always interested me very much. But much more what Albert Einstein think about world. Reading this book, we can easily understand how think this genius. The original title of this book is The World I See. The book is very interesting, of course. I recommend read this book. Today I would like to discuss about RabbitMQ and mass transit. What is RabbitMQ? RabbitMQ is QAing system that used the advanced message QAing protocol at the beginning, then has been extended to include other protocols. For example, text streaming protocol and MQ telemetry transport. RabbitMQ is written in the Erlang programming language and it's very fast application. What is mass transit? It is a tool that provides a mechanism for subscribing to message by type. It enables the creation of communication in conjunction with RabbitMQ. Using this solution, we can communicate with our microservices. We register incoming and outgoing events on it. Why are QAing system used? Imagine a situation where your system is transferring huge amounts of data between other systems. It may happen that some of data is not sent correctly or it is not sent to designed place at all. Having a QAing system, we can redownload data directly from the queue and the data is not lost. QAing system created by your friend. What should I do? Consider whether it makes sense to use created by your friend system to handle message QAing or communication between microservices. Perhaps the person who created the system didn't know uh, that such solution were on the market a long time ago or didn't know what they were for. Analyze whether it is better to use a solution that has already been tested many times and is very fast. It is also worth remembering that system created by your friends, someone have to maintain. Personally, I think that the most difficult in programming should be the domain, not the tools that are sometimes created without sense. Other places where mass transit and RabbitMQ can be used. Once, when I was creating application with my colleague, we had such a problem that we sent requests for calculation to the API. Unfortunately, the calculation took up to 30 minutes. We didn't know when it would end. So we sent a message to the API to create calculation. And then when the calculation finished, the event sent us a data with information about the created file, file location and the necessary value for the next step. I am a desktop application developer and I don't understand how it works. If you are a desktop application developer, remember how you communicate between two forms. The condition of one form affects the condition of the other form. Of course, I hope not via database or static classes, I mean about event registration and sending information through events. Mass Transit and RabbitMQ works the same, only the application is bigger. Ok, thanks for watching the episode, don't forget subscribe channel and see you next time.
Bye.